Have you heard of keto? I want to do keto. Keto, keto, keto is amazing. Keto. keto is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Tebo on keto. I plan to stick to keto. Keto. On the keto diet, you can't go anywhere or talk to anyone without hearing that word, keto. And this is half your relatives are on the keto diet. The other half say they can't wait to start. But have you ever wondered if you or your friends and family are doing keto all wrong? Today, we have the answer. Take a look at these photos. They're, they're, they're flooding Instagram, right? Under the hashtag dirty keto. And they're saying, for example, look at this one. It says tacos with a taco shell made from fried cheese. I mean, I mean it looks good, but could you wait, lose weight with that? How about this one? This one says a plate full of convenience store snacks. And this is really fantastic. Even a pizza pie with all fried cheese crust. And they're still losing weight. So what's the catch? Nutrition expert and best-selling author Josh Axe is here. Dr. Axe is gonna help us figure this out. I think a lot of us are doing keto. Either they didn't do it the right way to begin with or they've tipped into dirty keto. So I want you, if you can, explain to us what regular keto is and what dirty keto is so we know what we're really doing to ourselves. Yeah, so regular keto, Dr. Oz, is number one, we wanna get clean sources of protein. Wild-caught fish, grass-fed beef, legumes and beans. And then the big part of the diet is 75% healthy fat. Yeah. Avocados, coconut, cacao, dark chocolate, nuts and seeds, flax seeds. We should be doing loads and loads of healthy fats and then are 5% carbs here? And that's part of the key of getting into keto is you lower the carbs, your body gets in that fat burning zone, but those carbs, you want them to come from nutrient dense vegetables loaded with vitamins and minerals. That's really the key to doing it the right way. This is a healthy diet no matter how you mix up the macronutrients. Okay, what is dirty keto? So now dirty keto, here's the surprising thing. It's the exact same macros but you're just getting the completely wrong food in your diet. For instance, you know, we see this on Instagram, but your 20% of your proteins are coming from conventional beef and pork and bacon. And you know, a lot of your fat is coming from processed dairy and cheese. And then your 5% carbs are coming from things like low carb pizza that's full of preservatives and other chemicals. So not good, it's, it's really dirty. All right, so yeah. now we know dirty versus clean. Some people own it, right? You dive right into the dirty version of keto. And I see those posts all the time. You're very proud of it. But other people have tipped in to being in dirty keto and haven't even appreciated it. You've seen a lot of confusion amongst your patients. What are they saying to you? Yeah, well, one of the things I see pretty frequently, for instance, I had a patient come in and he said, Dr. Axe, I'm on this new thing called the keto diet. And I said, hey, that's great. Where'd you learn about it? He said, social media. And I said, well, what are you eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? And, I promise you this is what he was eating. Okay. For breakfast, butter, bacon, and eggs. For lunch, he would do a bacon burger. And for dinner, ready? Yes. A bacon burger. Oh my that goodness. That was his That's entire fantastic. diet. <laughs> was he losing weight? You know, here's the thing is he was losing weight. He did, he lost about 15 pounds in 30 days. But here's the thing, he was still sick on the inside. He was bloated, he was fatigued, he wasn't feeling well. I then got him on eating the real keto diet the right way. He continued to lose weight and continued to see even better results. All right, come on, I want you to meet someone. Debbie's here because she's thinking about keto. She sees all these delicious high fat foods on Instagram, like the rest of us. Us. And you wanna know a little bit more about this. It, it does dirty keto work, is it safe? You just told us a, a patient of yours lost 15 pounds, so it does seem to work. Debbie, what's, what does dirty keto mean to you? What's the appeal? Going through a fast, uh, fast food joint, uh, drive through this is what dirty keto you know, means to me. It's a quick, easy food that you could just take the bun off the meat and, and you're set to go. So let me work, walk you through some of the things I get concerned about when I hear people pull into a fast food joint, get the, the burger without the bun, and think they're on keto. And a lot of you hearing about this with the fan members and yourselves, eating unhealthy food and worrying about the saturated fats, that could be a concern. It has always been a concern. It could be really an issue for your heart. So let's go inside an artery and show you what is the big issue for doctors. Now the arteries inside the heart, they're a passageway to life. They bring nourishing blood to everywhere. The lining is very thin. If it starts to get thickened because you're building a plaque over time, and especially if you have inflammation, watch what happens. The inflamed plaque is prone to this, a rupture. It gets irritated and that little plaque begins to pull off. Now you've got an open scab inside the body. Body wants to heal that scab. It starts to put blood in there because you're inflamed and that scab now blocks off the artery completely so no blood can get through and feed the heart. It has, same thing can happen in the brain. It can happen in other organs leading to strokes and heart attacks. But if heart disease feels like something way off in the future, well, don't worry about that because you're losing weight. You're feeling good now, right? While eating a diet full of pork rinds, I hear you. 
This doesn't seem like it's an urgent issue, but denying yourself the micronutrients, the good stuff in food, could be affecting your body right this minute. And I want you to introduce you to someone that I care a lot about, one of my producers, Sasha, who has discovered this the hard way. I know, now, hi guys. If I can <laughs> brag on Sasha for a second, a uh, wonderful mother, uh, wanted to lose some weight, went on dirty keto about four months ago, we've been hearing about it, we've been just watching her on Instagram, and that's why I've been able to identify what you're eating. How, many, how much weight did you lose? 33 pounds in about four months. Wow. But um, when I first started the keto plan, I was all in doing it right, eating the healthy fats, but then life happens. And then I started going for the shortcuts, going on Instagram, seeing that you can, you know, fry up some cheese or eat some bacon, do the pork rinds. I'd never had pork rinds before. And I thought, oh my God, I can have this on keto. So even though I did continue to lose the weight, I was feeling more tired. I was feeling bloated even. And um, I just noticed that I needed to kind of like switch back and get back on the right track. Dr. X, concerns about pork rinds and a lot of other things that she's posting, by the way, go check her out. Oh yeah, check out my Instagram. I'm <laughs> eating the bacon, the pork rinds, cause I'm on the go and I'm running fast, but on Instagram, they're like, these are keto friendly, keto friendly. So then I get excited. Yeah, well, I think, you know, one of the things to know is, is that some of the symptoms you're talking about, you mentioned the bloating, yeah. the lack of energy. Those are symptoms of what we call keto flu, which is really common. And, and that can happen even when you're doing the keto diet the right way. But typically the symptoms are less severe. When you're doing dirty keto, the symptoms get exacerbated. And it can even lead to other health problems like constipation, yeah. dehydration, other flu-like symptoms. So we not only want people to lose weight, we want people to... Feel good. Be healthy on the inside, getting those vitamins and minerals to help nourish our organs. So I, I get, we haven't done big medical studies to prove all this yet, yeah. but you mentioned inflammation. That was the issue with the heart attacks. Nutrient deficiencies, skin disorders. Yeah, yeah these are really common. You know, inflammation is a major cause of arthritis, heart disease, chronic pain. You know, when we're talking about some of the other conditions, nutritional deficiency, you can be deficient in vitamin B12, your energy vitamin, magnesium and zinc for your immune system. And also, here's the big thing, rebounding weight, weight gain. A lot of people, when they're not you doing this as a lifestyle, eating these real foods, they will gain the weight back really That's the quickly. Thing too, the weight kind of like halted when I'm in that like dirty, like in a rush phase and I'm not really thinking about what I'm eating. The weight kind of does uh, halt the weight loss. So okay. what changes do you recommend to Sasha and others so they can keep losing the weight or, or stabilize wherever they want to be without tipping in the dirty keto? Well, here's the truth is people can do the keto diet the right way and eat amazing and delicious foods. You know, some of my favorite things I've had my patients do is I've had them consume things like almond butter with some really dark chocolate. Ooh, that's delicious. That's you know, guacamole is a really high fat, healthy food. And then also, you know, there are recipes online. Now, some are really bad, okay, yeah, the fried cheese, but there are recipes for keto chocolate chip cookies, keto pancakes, keto brownies, where they're using almond flour, coconut flour, coconut oil, natural sweeteners. In fact, I have a lot of those you know, foods in my book. You can find a lot online. But again, there, there's a right way to do keto that can still taste delicious. Yeah, right? I want to lose weight. I just don't want to be tired yeah. or feel bloated. I want, you, I want you working even harder if it's impossible. Yeah. I know, I need more energy. <laughs> yeah. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. And remember to check back often to see what's new.